Well, hey, crafty friends, it's Heidi Scott with DIY Dreaming. I hope you're having a wonderful day. On this video tutorial, I'm gonna show you the project that we started yesterday and that I finished up the details of overnight. I'm gonna tell you what I did and then I'm gonna show you how to make these adorable dragonflies. And we're gonna do a canvas. So lots, lots, lots to show you. All right, this is the project from yesterday. If you missed this video, um, you might wanna go back and watch it. It really was one of my all-time favorite projects. I showed you how to make these adorable flowers. Here's another one um, that have wood slice centers. And then we used um, the ink pens from magnoliadiy.com to dress these up. We used a little bit of burlap ribbon, and then I showed you how to make butterflies. And when I got off, I went ahead and made two more that were minis. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Just because I felt like the space uh, on this project needed something. Also, I drilled some holes in my plaque and I will be hanging it with uh, this beaded, um, beaded piece of uh, jute. So what do you guys think? Isn't it cute? I think it turned out adorable. Absolutely love it. Let me show you real quick. And then I really seriously do encourage you to go back and um, watch that video if you missed it because these new flowers, these ones, are really fun and they, this idea could be adapted to any color fabric, any season. These would be super cute at Christmas. We could do pointy leaves so they almost look like a poinsettia. Someone please remind me <laughs> to do that towards Christmas time. Um, anyway, so if you missed this video, it was yesterday and you can find it in my videos here at DIY Dreaming. So I wanted to show you the patterns because I had a lot of questions about that. Um, this was nothing specific, but it was just a petal that I drew on a piece of computer paper and then I cut out a whole bunch of them to, to make the petals for this flower and, and this one over here. And then this one, oh, I didn't even show you this other flower that I had finished it. Okay, so I made a smaller flower right here, and I used this smaller pattern to make the um, petals for that one. And also, I did the little decoration just a hair different on this one than I did on the bigger one. But I like it. I, I love how this turned out. Um, okay, so those were the flowers. And then this was what the butterfly pattern looked like. And here was my little butterfly pattern. And what I wanna tell you about that is somebody had a really great idea. They said to Google um, coloring pages that are free, that you can print on the internet of butterflies, of flowers, and probably you might wanna do that of dragonflies too, because that's what we're gonna do today. And you should be able to get some uh, coloring sheets that you can then use to create your own patterns. These were just from my mind to my hand to my scissors. There's nothing special about these. Okay, so today um, we're going to take this one more step um, and we're going to make a dragonfly. Okay, I don't know if you're still there. Can somebody let me know? Because for some reason my internet just went down for two seconds. I think it's fine. I apologize for that. I don't always have control over things like the internet or electricity, uh, etc. Okay, so, um, so before I came live today, I fiddled around with making dragonflies. And I'm using the same little piece, where are they? 
um, piece of miniature wood spindle that I used for the butterflies. They look like this. You can get them on Amazon. I'll put a picture of it in the description of this video and in the comments. They are, they're little. They're three and three eighths inches long. I got a pack of 25 for around $12. And we have Amazon Prime, so there was no shipping. All right, so that's what we're using for the dragonflies. Um, and we're also gonna put it on a canvas. So let's do the canvas first. And then I'll show you step by step how to make the dragonflies. All right, before I came live, uh, this was just one of these little six by six thick canvas frames. You can get these everywhere. I believe these came from Walmart. And I believe when I got them, it was a package of six of them for 13 or 14 dollars so they're super inexpensive well i didn't like how white they were so and i wanted it to go with this other project so i just used the very same waverly chalk acrylic paint from walmart in this color that i'm loving called plaster and i painted my whole entire canvas with just with two coats then we're going to use yesterday we used the gold ink marker on our on our little butterflies okay on the fabric and the flowers today we're gonna um use the chalk paste marker on our canvas and I'll show you how I created the wings for this one. Okay, so um, this is fully dry and I want to do dots around the edge of it to give this some dimension or decoration. I also want them to be relatively, ooh, uh-oh. I just dripped a big glob. Well, traps. I'm gonna to have to come back and paint over that spot. <laughs> I didn't realize my marker was gonna come out. Okay, so there's my boo-boo. Just ignore it for the time being. And what I was gonna tell you is that I'm gonna make these little dots about midway, mid distance. And then do the same thing. And these kind of, to me, oh my goodness, what in the world? I'm gonna have to repaint this whole entire side, which is kind of embarrassing. But anyways, these kind, the ones that I did not mess up, kind of look like nails, a little bit. I'll repaint this, my boo-boo, and I will redo the side of it. I'll just use the same, chalk paint to go over it. So let me find a place to sit it for right now. Okay. So also before I came live, oh, and this is the pen set that I'm talking about. Um, honestly, this is like one of my favorite craft tools. Now I, I'm finding myself using them all the time. Um, I've done all kinds of different projects with them. Like I did that candy corn banner that I gave away that was adorable. Also, I did these little mason jars and I gave two of them away. And um, I also did some of these little abstract flowers using the chalk paste pins. So these are great. And if you use the ink, which are the black bodied, you can use them on ceramics and fabric. And if you want to be able to wash that, you can heat set it with a hot iron or heat set it in the oven if it's ceramics. The chalk paste have the white body and they're um, good for everything. Uh, so I'm totally loving these and I would definitely recommend them. And they're not expensive at all. Okay, so before I came live, I took a piece of 
this um, canvas duck fabric from Walmart and I laid my stencil. My favorite starting to look very terrible stencil that is called the Victorian pattern. This is what mine looks like, but it still works just fine. I laid it on my piece of fabric and then I just used this sparkling silver ink and a squeegee to push the silver ink all through the holes, okay? And then I let it dry. I'm not going to heat set it because I'm not going to ever wash what we're making today. But um, if you want to, you could heat set it with a hot iron, it's up to you. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And I think it adds a lot of interest to our dragonfly. So, I looked on the internet for some pictures of dragonflies. Didn't, um, didn't spend a ton of time on it. But what I discovered is dragonflies, um, their wings don't go up. They go straight out and sometimes a little bit down. And they're different from butterflies than that. And then they have these little pieces can you see those towards the bottom? So they just have a completely different kind of a wing than a butterfly. So I made patterns, again, fancy with some computer paper. And we need to cut out, assuming we want both sides to have the pattern on it, which I don't know if that's important or not, but assuming we do, um, I'm going to show you how I made my um, each, uh, how I made this. Sorry, I feel really tongue tied today. How's everyone doing? Hey, listen, I didn't say any of my normal stuff. Um, if you're watching, I would love to know. I'm curious to know who sees this. If you're watching this on replay, I would love to know that also. So you could put hashtag replay in the comments. If you would, that would be great. Um, if you have questions along the way, feel free to ask. When I'm finished here, I'll come back and answer all your questions. If you want links for this or the stencil or these, this Amazon information or the ink or anything, just let me know that in the comment. You can write link or links and I'll get all of that out to you. Okay, so I'm going to make four pieces of this. And how I'm going to do that is just by pinning it on right here. And then we're gonna fold, fold, fold. There's our first fold. There's my second fold. I'm just making sure that I have it folded far enough. And here's my third fold. And I'm gonna take my pin out and I'm gonna put it back on here through all four layers. So this will make everything I need, four pieces that are gonna go front back perfectly for the top wings of this dragonfly. And then get your best fabric scissors out and cut. And these don't have to be perfect. You know, I don't know what a perfect dragonfly uh, wing would look like. Really, we're just giving the impression of a dragonfly because obviously dragonflies don't look like these little wood spindles, but it's the perfect shape for it. Okay, so I just cut it out. That was super easy. And now I'm gonna show you what we have here. And I'm gonna put my pin back in my pattern. Ow, first I'm gonna poke myself in the finger. Okay, so this is what we have. And there's a front and a back for this wing. You can decide whichever one has the best, you know, amount of detail on it that you want for the front. I don't think it really matters. And then here's the other set. 
all ready to go. I'm just looking to see what which side do I, I like this one best. Okay, now let's do the smaller part. It, it really is small. It looks like a piece of candy corn almost. We're gonna do the exact same thing. I just need to start somewhere that I'll have enough to do And I'll have leftover so I can do other things with this stenciled fabric. I love this Victorian lace stencil. I've done a ton of projects here at DIY Dreaming with fabric that I've created using the Victorian lace stencil and some inks. Um, like, where are my... I'll show you a couple. Let me just get this pinned. Um, I'm looking for my pumpkins. I did bunnies and Easter eggs at Easter. I did this stack of books made with the same, um, same uh, kind of fabric, fabric duck cloth. And then I just stenciled with the magnolia green color and ink. And where are my pumpkins? They're around here somewhere. Hmm. Oh, here they are. I showed these to you guys the other day. These are just little bowl fillers. So that one stencil and different colored inks and then some of this canvas deck fabric can be turned into a lot of different things. All right, so I have this. All ready to go. I have found that it is easier to cut it out if it's detached from your fabric. We're gonna glue these together. I'm gonna show you how to stuff them. Then I'm gonna show you how to put your dragonfly together. And then we're gonna fin I'm gonna show you how I will finish my little canvas um, thing that I painted after uh, I will fix the boo-boos and then um, I'll take pictures later, but I'll show you what we're gonna do with that. So I'm gonna hang on to my patterns and I have four pieces here that are all perfectly matched. I really don't think it matters which one of these, which way I go on that. Okay, so now I need something to glue on. And let's glue our little ones first. I'm using my low temperature hot glue gun. It's a Sherbonder Cool Shot low temperature glue gun. It's nothing fancy. I do feel like it is a little bit, maybe even a little bit lower than a regular low temperature glue gun, which is good because you're gonna get this on your fingers when you do this project. You just are. And hot, hot glue hurts when you get it on your fingers. So we're gonna glue the point and the sides, and then we'll stuff the end just a little and we'll glue the end of it closed after it's stuffed. Do you guys like these projects? I was wondering if you would be bored if I continued on with this a second day. I hope not. This um, silver ink on this Victorian pattern stencil on this cream colored canvas deck fabric is, it's beautiful. 
Okay, let's do our little upper wings and I'm gonna bleed the hole on the top um, middle. see how quick these come together. You do want to be pretty generous with how much glue you use. And then I'm just pinching my two pieces together basically. So here's our hole which might be a little bit bigger than what I need. I'm gonna glue a little bit here at the top. Okay, there's one. Thank you, Kelly, she says it's cute. I think these projects are pretty cute too. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I wanna do something with this one. If you're just hopping on, um, you can watch this on this video on replay and then go back and watch the video that I did on how to make this. Make these flowers and make these butterflies. Um, if you want. I have my four pieces done, and we're going to be using just your basic Walmart polyfill. This stuff lasts forever. It was around, I don't remember exactly, maybe $5, uh, $4.88 or something like that at Walmart in the fabric department. Okay, let me look at my wings because you want the flatter part of the dragonfly wing to be on the top. Okay, so. And you can stuff these as full as you like. Oh, I see a spot where my, I didn't have good enough gluing. Sometimes I'll just use the end of my scissors to kind of poke my polyfill down. And then I'm gonna push it in, and it's like you're making a little sandwich here. I pushed it in, I'll put some hot glue here. And then I will squeeze it shut. Do the next one. Okay, that's good. That's going to go right there. Okay, and these little ones, you can't get much stuffing in them because they're, they're teeny, but just a little bit goes a long ways. Okay, and if you get some of the polyfill kind of smooshing out, you can just cut it off. Okay, 
one more. And then we'll assemble our butterfly and then we'll look at it on this little painted canvas with the dots around the edge and I'll fix it after I'm done and I'll um, get pictures. You know, it's always a bummer to make a mistake, but the thing is, I don't know how you feel about this. Life is hard. <laughs> Anyone else agree? I mean, it is. And I just want to enjoy my craft time. I don't want to be so, you know, insisting on perfection from myself so I can't enjoy it and laugh off a little goof here and there. So, and almost any craft project that you mess up, you can fix it. Okay, so we have our pieces. And we do need one little piece of fabric to glue our stuff on. And then we'll trim it. So I'm just cutting like a long skinny oval. All right, now, um, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue my two wings onto this. I'll lift it up in just a second. And I want the wings to be um, almost pointing down and the flat part is on the top. didn't put that on straight but it really doesn't matter we're gonna be trimming it anyways okay and then come the little things that come off the bottom and I'm gonna trim this and we're gonna basically glue on top of that I'll hold it up in just a second Here's what we have. So can you see that these wings are kind of aimed down? And then I'm just gonna put my two little pieces that are shaped like candy corn, just kind of poking straight down. And then I'm gonna trim a little bit more. Pull off some of these glue strings. Okay, so this is what we have, and I'm gonna cut this off at the top because we don't need it. And this is what we have. This is what the back of it looks like. It's kind of messy, but it really doesn't matter. Uh, nobody's gonna see that. Okay, then we're gonna take our little dragonfly and we're gonna I put, made it so that the top of the dragonfly's head is just this little bump and that part. So I'm gonna run some glue right down the center and we're just gonna squish our little dragonfly in there and then I'm gonna talk to you about their antennae, which, you know, I was really wishing, I know I have some silver um, craft wire with a thicker gauge here somewhere in my, craft closet somewhere in here, but I cannot for the life of me find it. So we're gonna use the same as what we used on the butterflies, and we're gonna use this. All right, so here's our dragonfly so far. Let's trim up some of this stuffing that's poking out. And also, I'm gonna glue this wing on here a little bit more 
securely so that it doesn't flap. Okay, to do my little, you know, I couldn't decide. So here's the two dragonflies that I've made already. This one has longer antennae than this one. Can you see that? I think the longer looks better, but I don't know. I haven't paid that much attention to dragonflies. Usually when I see them in real life, I'm in our swimming pool and they're dive bombing me while I'm in there and I'm just trying to swat them away. Okay, um, and I need my cutters and my ruler, because I know someone will ask. Let's start with about six inches. Don't ruin your scissors, your good fabric scissors by cutting um, metal with them. So um, I wanted to just let you guys know that a few weeks ago, I did a Christ in Crafting where I talked about dragonflies and how they are the ultimate, the ultimate um, symbol of transformation. Because if you missed that, and you can go back any time and watch any of those Christ and Craftings that you might like, um, they start their life as some little creature in the water, breathing water. Then they go into their, uh, I can't remember what that's called. It's not a cocoon, but it's whatever the word is for dragonflies. And then they, they lay that out of the water they go into it and when they come out, they're dragonflies and they breathe air. So they go from breathing water and living in the underwater to flying around in the air, going every direction up to 60 miles an hour. Um, and so I compared that to the transformation that takes place in our lives once we become Christ followers and once we start renewing our minds by um, being in God's word. and. Anyways, if you want to know more about that, it's in my videos, and um, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to wrap my little piece of craft wire around the top of my little dragonfly's head and pull it tight, and then I'm bringing their antenna, from what I could see on the internet, go straight out in front of them. Something like this, all right? As opposed to the butterflies. The, I did these going out with little big curly cues on them. If I've got that completely wrong, please don't tell me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some glue on the back of this little dragonfly's head and I'm gluing my wire to the back of it and just as soon as that's mostly dry we probably will cut a little bit of these off because that looks a little bit long to me Let's take just a smidge off And then, look how he's coming along. And then I'm just gonna curl the antenna towards the center. Just one small little curl. And I'm just using some of these kind of needle nose plier things like that. Can you see that? Dun, da, da. And there is our dragonfly. So, this one I made earlier, and this one I just made, and then this one I made earlier. Aren't they cute? I think so. All right, well, I'm so bummed that I messed this up. But my idea was to do the dots all the way around this, and then to hot glue 
our little dragonfly in the center, kind of going up at an angle. And this would look cute. These, um, these little canvases are thick. They're one and about one and a fourth inches thick. And so they can stand up on their own. And I just thought it would be super cute to have a dragonfly with it. I'm not gonna glue it on now though, cause I have to come back and fix the, the boo-boos <laughs> and then redo that and then I will glue it on. But what do you guys think? Do you like it? Um, I think these are pretty darn cute. I think that I should give two of these away. This one and this one. Um, let me think. Okay, here's, here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, if you, uh, last time I did, I can't even remember, oh, last time I asked people to just sprinkle this video, this time I'm gonna do a purchase thing. So if you purchase a set of these pins from me through my website, which I'll get posted, then I will put your name in my hat and I'll pull two names and I'll send these little dragonflies out to those two people. Um, I'm gonna have this go through the end of today and today is, what is it, the 29th, I think. Um, it's Thursday. <laughs> and if you purchase, because I did all this stuff yesterday, if you purchased a set of these yesterday when we did this craft project, then I'll include your name in my hat because I was promoting those yesterday as well. So hold tight before you do anything and let me get a link out. And um, so the deal is anyone who purchases a set of these pins through my website, their name will go in my hat and I will be giving away these two little things. Um, you know what, let's, let's up it just a little bit, okay? I have this extra flower, so we'll put that with this. And then I have this extra, wait, yeah, this extra butterfly that has the same design as this. So that's what I'll do. So if you purchase, I'm sorry, I'm just thinking of this as I'm talking. If you purchase uh, the pins from me yesterday or today, Thursday, before midnight, then I'll put your name in my hat and tomorrow morning when I get up on Friday, the very it's towards the very end of the month, I think it might be, I think today's the 29th of July, 2021. I'll tell you who, who the two people are that I'll be sending these out to. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, where do you get the wood circles? You can get those from Magnolia also, and they're a good deal, and they're super nice quality. So I'll get you a link for that. Um, I'll, put, I'll put all the links and the information up in the body of this Facebook post and also in the body of the YouTube post that I'll be doing with this video. Um, and then I'll answer anyone in the comments that wants uh, links. I'll get you those direct links. The fabric is ca canvas duck fabric from Walmart that we stenciled with silver ink. And if you weren't on earlier, I showed how I used that same stencil in different colors of ink to make a bunch of different things. These are some little pumpkin bowl fillers. And here was a book stack that I did a little while back using some different stencils and ink but this one this one right here was that same stencil that it's called a victorian pattern and it's awesome i've i've used it so much it's almost the ugliest stencil that i have in my drawer i do have a mandela lace that i've used about the same amount and it's pretty darn ugly too but these things work for a long time. I'm just looking across the room. I did this whole uh, old window with white chalk paste in this. It was super cute. I've made a lot of different things with that, with this one. Anyways, I feel like I'm just rambling. So um, let me know if you have any questions. Feel free to sprinkle. 
I don't know what the gauge of the antennas is, Wendy. I'm sorry. It's just, this was just some craft wire that I had hanging around. I couldn't find any of my other craft wire, so I just used what I had on hand. Um, so I don't know what the gauge is, but it's, it's pretty, um, it seems pretty thick to me, and it's also very soft. It would be cuter in silver with these new projects. All right, thank you everyone for the stars. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna finish, I'm gonna fix my boo-boo and refinish it and use my one dragonfly that I'm keeping for myself. I'll put that on here and I'll get pictures. I'll put those here in the comments and also on DIY Dreaming. Oh, thank you. Betty says she loves all the things that I make. I'm having fun, I tell you what. Uh, I don't know, I've always loved crafting, but I really love crafting when I'm making things and giving them away. It satisfies that creative kind of thing in me and also my love language to show my appreciation and care for others is gift giving. So I love making things that I'm gonna give away. And anyways, all right, well, um, I don't know uh, what, what else to tell you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys later. Somebody just said that Walmart has some great craft wire. Oh, and this is the ribbon, the burlap ribbon that we used on the sign. And then these rounds, and then these wood beads are just your basic wood beads. Nothing special about those. I ordered mine on Amazon, but this, I use that burlap ribbon to make the leaves for my flowers. And these are the wood rounds uh, that you can get from magnoliadiy.com. Where do you order the ink spreaders for the stencils? You can get that also at the Magnolia DIY website. It looks like this. This is the last question I'm going to answer for right now. And then I'll, um, I will just uh, get you a, a direct link. They come, it looks like this. I usually cut mine a little bit smaller. They're under accessories at magnoliadiy.com but I'll get you a direct link. Okie dokie. Have a wonderful rest of your day, everyone, and I will see you guys later.